is that like we're not having guitarists play with us. We should still have guitar going like like as much as you know this you know we shouldn't I just don't want to rely on our beats anymore. I I don't want it to be solely that and I I you know, I also don't want it to be completely opposite, too. Exactly. No, to blend coming from, like, yeah. so many angles that we've been coming from. It's like... But, yeah, I think we have a lot of, be like, beautiful melodic possibilities if we're bringing in the guitar, like... Yeah. There's well, a... yeah, because now the reason we were held back before was that we just had the little guitar amp, so only, yeah. like, one or two things could get through. Well, yeah, exactly. Now we have the amp. It's like, okay, let's start, like, At the very least, up. it's an additional thing and a half, you know? Yeah, and it's like, you're so talented at guitar. Like, like why would we not use that? Yeah. Like, you're fucking awesome. And the fact that we could film you playing mm -hmm. and include that, like, yeah. that just adds another element of showing our musicality because, for me... There's a question in my mind at this point. It's not like, why are so many people like not talking about this or that? It's, mm -hmm. it's why are people so not interested in music anymore? Right. Like I really miss like how these shows used to have a band every episode, or yeah. like the fact that people would actually want to go to shows and like there would be like actually like music being played out of speakers rather than like on a digital track. Right. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like. I just, I miss, like, the energy of that. I just, yeah, it's just about, it's about the, it's it's always been, like, about the sexuality. It's always been, because that's the thing, is, like, what is, art is representing what society is not allowing us to say. Yeah. And art is always going to be filling in that gap of communication. And, um, and typically... It's, that happens to be sexuality from like uh, from most of the culture that we've been involved in and, and came from and you know really reference. So not only of course you know that's why rage is also another avenue yeah. of art is because it's actually pretty unacceptable. I didn't even think about the concept of actually like writing lyrics based on what I would actually want to say right. in like a perfect utopian world right. to these people who could potentially be our fans. That's right. Like, it's so wow. funny that I've come like from this weird angle uh -huh. that I never even thought to do that. Like, yeah, because you open up these like, cylinders and the more artists that you get influenced by, the more things you realize you, you can do. Yeah. But the truth is, is like, there is a way to kind of just, to make a shortcut is if you realize what you're doing at all in general. Yeah. If you realize that you're you're realizing what's okay to do, and you really if you figure it out, just like we just did, if you figure out what you're doing lyrically, what you're doing is you're freeing yourself from like what is okay to say. Yeah. And then, mm -hmm. like, if that's what you're doing, then why wait until somebody else does mm -hmm. says that shit? Why not just be like, all right, okay, so there's no rules. It's just like, yeah. you know. Just use use a certain rule, a certain amount of rules, in order to actually get it out of your brain. Because if there are no rules, you your brain might just freeze up, be like, "Oh shit, I don't even know where to begin." Yeah. But if you just start implementing rules consciously from yourself, mm -hmm. and not them being an acceptance from what people yeah. done or what they haven't, I mean, that'll the, help the you siphon those ideas out. Yeah, and the boundaries I'm putting would actually be things that I want. Yeah, rather than exactly. Just like... The boundary would be like, all right, uh, let's play a game. Like, what would I say to this person? Yeah. What mm -hmm. would I, yeah, and that's... How would I get this point across? And those are, I... some of those are pretty classic <laughs> examples, mm -hmm. but you really only get it from the speaker end. You get it from hearing a song about somebody do that shit. Well, and what's so funny is But the if you think that... about it from behind the speaker, you realize, oh, this is what I would do. Yeah, exactly. And what's so funny is that, like, we are doing this in such a weird vessel that I yeah. actually yeah. would be able to would just able say to. exactly what I'm That's thinking. Correct. And it would be fucking weird enough. Yeah. <laughs> because it's... it's like such, we're doing something so bizarre. Yeah, and, what, and I think the scary benefit is that, like... It's not going to be someone who knows your shit already. Mm -hmm. Like, that's exactly what you'd, who you'd want to be talking to. Mm -hmm. It's the person who doesn't know this shit mm -hmm. yet. Dude, I gotta write some of this down. Like. Yeah, and I'm, I'm van chemming some of this yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm really glad that you By are. the way, um, eight months no fop. Um, I have a basic Starkist with this girl gang footage. It's fucking really cool. 
Dude, I'm going next level with these live videos because I'm actually bringing in the click track into the Adobe, so I'm actually really making these cuts like proper. Proper to the eighth notes and the quarter notes. Really loving my God. And then somebody's like, why aren't you cutting it to 16th notes? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And I'm like, that's for later, babes. I'm like, well, what will I have left if I start out that way? Come on. <laughs> we gotta go up, not down. Yeah, I'm excited. This clip is long enough.